Hello, Kristen. Here's some video feedback on 4.1 and 4.2. Kristen, you've used the appropriate tools, it looks like, and the techniques and the software uh, to you know, create a, a competent beginning uh, to a professional identity. I noticed that you are in the biotech industry, and so <clears throat> I'm wondering about the relevance of the, uh, this look like beech trees or aspids, perhaps. Um, it, it's beautiful, and, and I like that you have applied it uh, uniformly on your business card as well as your letterhead. But uh, I'm just curious about its relevance. Um, anyway, uh, you're onto your logo here. Uh, I like the brush stroke uh, circle. Uh, take a look at Katie. Mm, I posted her work. I think I'll try to find the link for it again. Very similar. Uh, I like the KC um, ligature. You know, I'm, I'm thinking though that I see a K and a C in just this portion, the stem and the circular uh, bowl of the C. It, it could also become uh, a, a KC, this, this portion. So think about that. You know, uh, perhaps if nothing else, have the stem of the K, this stem, as you know, it's reversed. Um, be, be, join up, I'm gonna close up this space here so that it isn't quite so heavy. I think you only need one stroke weight uh, and that this could be a uh, part of this stroke. All right, and so in, in terms of your other um, <clears throat> typography, uh, if this is flush right, you know, keep a cleaner, optically at least, uh, right edge and uh, think about ways to, um, you know, make make these lines of type uniform. Um, watch your letter spacing and you know maybe make the at sign uh, smaller and have it float within the x height. Consider smaller numerals because they come across as a string of caps. You know it's really hard to um, make uniform lines of type when you have oh zip codes and so forth. So consider making your numerals maybe just a point size smaller. That way they don't appear as a string of capital letters. Uh, all little typography refinements that I think um, somebody who is type sensitive would want to apply to their business card. I like your letterhead a lot. Um, now, sometimes bleeds are impractical uh, because you know we print on eight and a half by eleven paper that's pre-trimmed, um, and it, oftentimes you know printers are unable to print edge to edge on pre-trimmed paper. But having said that, I like the idea. Um, just know that it might be expensive to have eight and a half by eleven paper printed with this bleeding. Um, background image and I wouldn't do it unless you it, you could bleed it you know that it's nothing more annoying or unprofessional I think than a white band uh, around a letterhead I like your arrangement of type um, just be aware that you know for longer letters this may not be enough for the body so I think in general this could be uh, smaller and why not bleed this rectangle off the lower right edge uh, that would use up you know some or use conserve on space reserve more space for the body of your letter it consistently applied your logo. Uh, I like that. I like the semi-transparency here where the branches of the tree come through the logo. That has a nice organic quality. And the quality of the brush mark here <coughs> in this, um, oh, what, what would you call this? Cartouche maybe? Uh, reflects the sort of organic quality of the limbs themselves. Good job. Uh, Kristen, I really enjoy your idea of a leave behind of you know a bag of jelly beans. Um, I love the gourmet jelly beans, you know, with the unexpected flavors, and so I think that's a great idea. I can easily see your um, logo made as a label, you know, that you can put on the jelly beans, and it'd be really fresh. I think uh, um, remembrance or memento that you could leave, not just you know prospective employers, but uh, anybody who wants to get to know what it is you. Uh, desire to do in terms of graphic design. So uh, I, I like the idea and uh, I, it's, I think it's unique. It's, it's very practical, economical to produce. Um, <clears throat> if you can, you know, maybe get a little bag together with your label. Um, you can, we used to call it comping, which is, was short for comprehensive sketch. And sometimes they would be photographed, you know, and used as product placement or product, or placed as examples of product uh, photography that would come. Try out your, your photography skills and so that you can have all of your branding suite on a single page perhaps uh, so that uh, us as a class can take a look at it. Good job.